Hello everybody, my name is Nathan or I'm going to Frost back here again to bring you guys my weekly predictions for this week's upcoming episode of The Walking Dead, Season 5, Episode 3, entitled Four Walls and a Roof. Now, the title, well, we can kind of assume that it's sort of talking about the church, because in this episode, considering we've seen some previews, we've seen some sneak peeks, we've seen some promos, they're basically still in the church. Uh, and basically what this means, four walls and a roof, I, I'm i guessing what it honestly means, you know, it's not sanctuary, technically, because uh, this Father Gabriel guy is not... Is not good news. I don't think. I, I, I still, I still have very big doubts about him. You know, he's clearly done some shit that's, uh, that that's hurt people before, and uh, I believe he's doing it again. So, I don't think. Obviously, it's sanctuary, but it is something. You know, it's it's exactly that. It's four walls in a roof and a roof. So it's technically safety against walkers and you know against some people. You know, s- s- you know, kind of. Kind of depending on how you take the place, you know what I mean? Like, if you if you set it up to defend against people and walkers, or whether you just set it up to defend against walkers, who knows? It's four walls and a roof, it's just, it's basically that. That's that. That's really all the title means. Uh, at least that's what I think, that's my predictions. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this video will contain uh, spoilers for previous episodes of The Walking Dead and possible spoilers for upcoming episodes of The Walking Dead. Now, this isn't anything confirmed, but if I do get it right, then, you know... I kind of count it as a spoiler cuz you know you 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 seen it coming because I I obviously predicted it. Uh now my predictions are just based off of soul facts that I've watched uh the entire show up until this point and I've also seen pretty much all of the comic book. Uh the only part of the comic book I haven't seen yet is uh the newest volume that's coming out in November. So and the reason why I haven't seen that yet is cuz I don't buy them in issues, I actually buy them in volumes. Uh, so right now I'm in volume 22, uh, so volume 23 should be coming out, uh, pretty soon. I believe it's November 14th, actually, is when volume 22, uh, hits stores, hits shelves, stuff like that. So I'll definitely be picking that up. But anywho, uh, predictions for this episode, uh, go as follows. Now, for every prediction episode, I usually do the synopsis. So let's go ahead and read this. Uh, the synopsis for Four Walls and a Roof, which is season 5, episode 3 of The Walking Dead, uh, this synopsis is located on the amc.com website, uh, slash, so, slash The Walking Dead, if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, anyways, synopsis is, Rick and the group find themselves pitted against some very nasty people, but our group might just have a plan to gain the upper hand. Okay, so the nasty people. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's the Terminans, you know, the people from Terminus, Gareth, and, you know, everybody that's in his group that actually managed to escape Terminus. You know, it, it's clearly them. Uh, because, you know, we've obviously seen at the end of last episode that Bob uh, was captured. You know, he was captured outside of the camp uh, at nighttime. He was knocked out, dragged off into the forest, and uh, woke up tied to a tree. And his leg was cut off, and they were literally eating his leg. So, very nasty people indeed. Okay, so... Anyways, I, I see kind of from some photos uh, of this episode on the AMC.com website, we still see them in the church. We see them kind of trying to barricade themselves in. Uh, you know, we actually see in one of the photos, Abraham has his uh, M16 assault rifle. He's kind of looking out of a blind covered window. You know, he has the blinds down on it, so no one really can see him, but he's kind of looking out the window. You know, he's assumingly taking guard of the place, basically, you know, kind of trying to watch, uh, you know, he, he has his gun with him and everything like that. Uh, in some other episode photos, we actually see uh, Rick talking to Glenn, uh, I believe it's Eugene, uh, actually that might be Tara, I'm not too sure who that is, because uh, they're kind of turned around, so one of them's definitely Glenn, the other one, on the other hand, uh, I, I'm not too sure, I think it might be Tara, or it might be Eugene, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this photo up a little bit closer, uh, so yeah, the, uh, the second person is actually turned around, so it actually could be Tara, or it could be Maggie, uh, it's either one of those, I'm guessing actually it's Maggie, kind of from the shortness of the hair, but you know, who knows, who knows, that's not really, uh, really, 
important in all honesty so they're kind of having a conversation probably about what to do you know kind of bringing up a plan you know stuff like this uh and from the promos we actually seen uh sasha uh on the sneak peek of the talking did um we've seen her kind of out in the woods sort of calling out bob's name uh she has her night scope on her rifle she pulls up her rifle uh, kind of looks around the forest, she sees something moving in the brush, kind of checks it out for a little bit, kind of keeps on panning around with her, uh, with her, with her rifle, and we actually get to see the point of view of the scope, so that was pretty cool. Uh, and it does for a really terrifying effect as well, because she was panning around, we kind of seen the brushes move off in the distance, uh, like somebody was exiting from there, and then, uh, she kept panning a little bit, and there was a walker basically jumped up right in the scope, right in her face. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with that? You know, the walker obviously sees her. Uh, she obviously sees the walker now from the uh, night scope that she's using. So, whether or not she kills it, or whether or not she gets bit, hey, I guess we'll just have to find out, right? <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that that's that. That's the Talking Did sneak peek. There's also another sneak peek of the Talking Did where Sasha is inside of the church uh, with the rest of the group. You know, with Rick, with Glenn, with Maggie. Uh, basically, I think everybody's there. Uh, including Tyrese, and Sasha kind of goes up to Father Gabriel, obviously the newest character. Uh, she basically says, um, you know, we we know you've done something, so tell us right now. Three of our people are gone. Um, you know, basically, tell us what you are. Tell us what you've done. And then she actually pulls out a knife, uh, starts to head towards him, and Tyrese yells at her and tells her to put the knife down. Uh, and that's actually where the sneak peek cuts off. Now, I don't know what's exactly going to happen there, you know. Uh, in all honesty, Rick is kind of staying back, but he will definitely get up in the face of Father Gabriel if he needs to. You know, he will definitely get up there. He will definitely challenge him. Uh, you know, he'll basically tell him, uh, you know, really who's boss. Because he told him before uh, that if what you're hiding hurts my people in any way, I'll kill you. Uh, and, well... You know, so far, Bob has been captured, and apparently two other people. Now, my predictions on the two other people, uh, I don't think actually has anything to do with the Terminans or Father Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel, I don't know why I said Gabriel. I was thinking of Gareth and Gabriel, that was weird. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it has to do anything with those. Those two other people, obviously there's Bob missing. You know, that that's definitely to do with the Terminans, and maybe Father Gabriel. Uh, and the two other people that are missing... I think, in my personal opinion, is Daryl and Carol. Uh, the group just doesn't know, uh, you know, that they kind of ran off. They kind of got in the car and drove off to go follow that car with the white cross on it uh, that took Beth. So we don't know exactly uh, if that's who they're talking about. You know, maybe they got somehow a word to their group that they went off to look for Beth. Uh, I really don't see that happening, though, because they literally just got in the car you know, he busted out the taillights, they got in the car, and they drove off. You know, they didn't really have time to go back to the church, uh, you know, tell Rick or anybody there that they were going uh, to follow that car. So I think those are the other two people that they are talking about. So obviously they're safe, you know. We don't exactly know uh, where Daryl and Carol are going. You know, when we finally see Beth, I think it's going to be because of Daryl and Carol maybe scouting uh, the camp that Beth is being held at. You know, I think... We're finally going to see, uh, you know, sort of that part in the trailer of The Walking Dead Season 5 where Beth kind of, you know, runs out of the fences and, you know, stuff like that and runs towards something and then kind of gets caught. Uh, whether or not she's running towards Daryl or maybe just running for safety in general, I do think that's how we're finally going to get to see uh, this camp, this hospital that she's being held at. Uh, is because of Daryl and Carol kind of arriving there, you know, following that guy uh, with the car with the white cross on it. Whether I don't, I don't really see that being in this episode now. So I'm gonna kind of get off that topic because I don't really think it's gonna be in episode three. I'm guessing, in all honesty, if I had to predict what episode we're gonna finally see Beth in, it's going to be episode four. Now. At the end of episode three, because I can still kind of talk about this, obviously, because it's episode three, the, you know, uh, what we're talking about. At the end of episode three, I believe we're going to be left off at a cliffhanger now. This is just my predictions. I don't know if this is actually a true thing or not. You know, this is not a spoiler, but if it does turn out to be true, don't blame me. Don't hate me. 
Uh, but at the end of this episode, I do believe we're going to kind of see Daryl and Carol maybe arrive at this place. You know what I mean? I think we're going to maybe see Daryl and Carol, uh, you know, still following this car. And they pull up uh, sort of to this fenced-in hospital-type area. And that's probably when the episode is going to cut. Now, don't quote me on this. I'm not actually sure if this is actually, you know, going to happen or not. Uh, but if it does, I'm going to be really, really impressed with myself. Because that's a, that's a pretty widespread sort of prediction, you know what I mean? It's kind of out there. Uh, but it, it definitely could happen uh, this episode. But if not, I do see it happening in the next episode, or, or at least the next episode after that. Because we can't assume that the Walking Dead Season 5 trailer, which we did see Beth in, you know, that part of Beth, uh, the, the clip of Beth was at the end of the Walking Dead Season trailer, uh, Season 5 trailer. Uh, we can't assume that when the Season 5 trailer came out, they were probably in the month, in the midst of filming, like, Episode 8. Or something like that, like the mid-season finale, maybe episode seven, you know, maybe a little bit after that. Uh, but you know, they they wouldn't really put clips in from the mid-season finale or you know anything like that. I mean, I guess it is possible, you know, if they were that far along. But I can see it probably being episode four or five, uh, and if not those, you know, which I would be really shocked if it wasn't uh, episodes four or five. Uh, if not those, it's definitely going to be somewhere around episode six or something like that. So. Uh, yeah, that, that's definitely what's going to be happening with that. I can't wait to see kind of what happens with Beth. That's kind of a whole new storyline. You know, this place that she's at, I'm kind of interested to see kind of what it is. Uh, you know, there's been some predictions out there that, that maybe that place is the Alexandria safe zone, but I really don't see that happening. Uh, considering that cop that uh, pistol whipped Beth in the trailer of The Walking Dead Season 5 is a complete bitch. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, so for the rest of this episode, you know, I don't really see what else is going to happen. I think we're going to see another part of the Terminus, uh, Terminans in Bob scene. Uh, now, I do kind of know what's going to happen with Bob. Uh, like, it's a very strong, probably, you know, 90% uh, accurate prediction rate of what I'm about to tell you. Uh, so this is just my predictions based on the comic book. I don't want to spoil the comic book or anything like this, but... Uh, basically what happens in the comic book, I'm not going to tell you exactly which character, because, you know, you might go back and watch it and stuff like that. Basically, they get bit in the comic book, and at nighttime, they go outside the church, and they start crying. Now, this kind of seems similar to what Bob did, you know? Uh, in the food bank of last episode, you know, we've seen him get taken under the water. Now, whether or not he got bit, uh, that's, that, that's really to say. You know what I mean? We, we don't know exactly if he got bit or, you know, whether he just escaped it or, you know, something like this. We don't really know that for sure. Uh, but he did get dragged under the water, and shortly afterwards, literally as he came up, you know, he hugged Sasha, but he kind of did look sort of depressed, you know? He didn't really have a happy face on him uh, that he just survived a walker attack. You know, he kind of, he kind of looked a little bit down. Uh, and not only that, that's one example uh, but when they got back to the church, when they were celebrating at night, you know, he was also kind of, uh, sort of down in the dumps. You know, he was kind of depressed. Uh, it, it kind of looked like, because Abraham was making a toast. He was like, everybody in here is survivors. We can all take care of ourselves. We're surviving day to day. You know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, Bob kind of, at that point, again, looked a little more depressed. Because if he did get bit, you know, that survivor thing that... Abraham is talking about, it doesn't really apply to Bob, because he's got bit, uh, and, you know, it, it's all going to end in a matter of hours, in a matter of, basically hours, I was going to say days, but that's, that's not going to happen, it's going to be hours, uh, so yeah, then, anyways, in the comic book, they went outside at the end, uh, basically to start sobbing, to cry, to kind of go outside and relatively die. You know, because he didn't want to basically hurt anybody's feelings that he was dying uh, or anything like that. You know, he wanted to just go outside and die slowly, die uh, without bringing pain to anybody else, really. So that's what Bob, I think, was trying to do. Uh, he only got to the he only got to the crying part before getting knocked out. But basically, when they woke back up uh, in the comic book, this character, because basically it's the exact same situation. It's just a character flop from Bob to somebody else. Uh, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but I'm not going to tell you just in case you guys want to read the comic books. Uh, but anywho, 
Um, yeah, basically it's just a character flop, and in the comic book, uh, you know, they cut off his leg, start eating it, and he's basically laughing, you know, the guy who's getting his leg cut off, he's basically laughing at the Terminans, basically saying, you know, I was bitten, you know, you're eating tainted meat, and he just started laughing, cackling, and it was just, uh, it was a really, uh, sort of diabolical kind of scene. Uh, in the comic book, you know what I mean? It was a really kind of a weird scene to, you know, sort of look at. I guess he knows that he's dying, so he, he might as well he might as well get a laugh out of it that they're eating his uh, his tainted meat, if you will, because you know obviously he's bitten and the the disease has kind of spread throughout his body by now, and uh, they're sitting here munching on his leg. So it it can't be the best, you know, after eating Walker bitten meat. I guess is what you could say. I don't know how else to say that, but uh, yeah, that's that. So whether or not Bob did get Bob did get bit, wow, that was a uh, that was tough to say. Uh, whether or not he did get bit or not, I, I I'm guessing we will find that out in the next episode. You know, maybe we'll start off with a sequence of Bob at the beginning of the episode, or uh, you know, maybe we might just go with Carol and Daryl. I don't I don't know if that's going to happen at the start, but uh, if so. That would be pretty cool to see. Uh, we might might we might not even see Daryl and Carol again till episode 4, but who knows. Uh, they may be kind of out of an episode for a day. But I don't think there's another two characters really in that much danger like they're kind of leading it on to be. Because, you know, they say three of our people are gone. And, uh, you know, Bob, Daryl, and Carol, they kind of obviously equal out to three people. Uh, one of them is really only in danger. The other two went off to save somebody. Or try to find somebody, rather. Uh, so yeah, that, that's basically it uh, for this week's episode predictions of The Walking Dead. This has been Season 5, Episode 3, Four Walls and a Roof. I'm very, very excited. The episode premieres this Sunday, October 26th, only on AMC. So definitely tune in this Sunday uh, to watch the premiere of that episode. And then also come back to my channel on Monday, which is going to be October 27th, to see my review of the episode. Because you guys know I do... Uh, episode reviews and predictions uh, before and after every episode of The Walking Dead. And, uh, you know, it, I think it's going to be a great year if you guys just stick with me and uh, sort of subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, if you guys like these videos, feel free to come back every Thursday for, for, for a prediction video and every Monday for a review video. Alright, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. And if you guys agree with any of my predictions or have any of your predictions... Uh, of your own, definitely leave them in the comment section below. I'd be very interested to hear them, and uh, hopefully you guys had a great day, and I will talk to you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Bye.